Hi, hello, good morning. Today we have a Patreon requested video. So a few weeks ago on my Patreon, I asked my patrons what video they would like to see and the options were basically the writing routine or the daily writing habits of some very popular authors. And I was not surprised to <laughs> see that most of the results wanted a Sarah J Maas writing routine. However, there were some that came pretty close. So I will be doing some more polls like this over on my Patreon. So if you're interested in being a part of those choices, you can head on over there. But today we have got a day in the life or a writing like Sarah J Moss video. Most of the information that I got for this video came from the 88 Cups of Tea podcast, as well as the Trashy Books Smart Bitches podcast, I believe is what it's called. There are three podcast episodes that I listen to uh, I have listened to multiple times, so a lot of this information came from those. So let's try out Sarah J Maas's writing routine. If you don't know who Sarah J Maas is, she is a YA and adult uh, fantasy fiction author. She wrote the Throne of Glass series, the Court of Thorns and Roses series, um, and she is currently writing the Crescent City series. Uh, and she also has a Catwoman Soul Stealer book, in case you're interested in that kind of thing. I have it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I adore her books, I really have enjoyed them, um, so I am excited to kind of see what her writing routine looks like. So to start off, she always says that she is dressed very comfy for her work day, and she's almost always wearing something that is from a fandom. So I have a Sarah J Moss shirt anyways. This one is from A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's from an Etsy shop, I will leave it linked down below. So I have a fandom shirt and it's on par with this video. All right, we are ready, we're cozy, we're comfy. My breakfast is waiting for me, so let's get the day started. So Sarah starts her day with three pieces of turkey bacon, a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice, and some English breakfast tea. I don't know why I don't normally burn my bacon, but I, to this morning I guess I burnt my turkey bacon. And I will say that the uh, orange juice is not fresh squeezed because I don't really have the means to do that. So we've got our breakfast ready to go. She also mentioned in one of the podcast interviews that she meditates like three times per day, which is something that she has adapted in order to help her mental health. And that is something that I too have adapted to help my mental health, not three times a day, but I will gladly do three times a day. It's usually only once to twice per day, <laughs> um, but I will gladly meditate three times per day. So I'm going to have a quick meditation. And then Sarah says that for the morning, she pretty much just does admin work. So I am going to do some admin work because I do have some stuff to do do. I have beta reader feedback to look through um, and I have a little bit of like organization stuff when it comes to writing. I also have grant stuff to look into um, for writing. So that is admin work and I also have a few hours of uh, work work to do today um, for my instructing job. So let's get started on our day. I'm just finishing up my admin stuff. Um, I do have a little bit extra to do just cause some work kind of came in, some last minute work. So I'm going to finish that up. And then the next part of my day is going to be getting in a very small workout. Um, Sarah talks a lot about her mental health and starting, especially at the time of the podcasts, uh, the ones that I have been listening to around the time when they came out those couple years, um, she was starting to like go to therapy and learn how to take better care of her mental health, um, which is something that I am also doing. Uh, and she talks about how beneficial working out every single day has been for her mental health. Uh, she also talks about doing boot camp. So I am going to do a 20 minute, probably um, not hardcore boot camp, more so low impact boot camp, because this is my first workout since I threw my back out last week and I have no more pain in my back, which is the only reason I'm going to try this. And I still want to get the workout in and I'm going to have to try and work out to see where I'm at anyways. So I'm going to finish up my admin work. Then I'm going to do my workout, which I think she usually does in the morning, but I'm going to do it after admin work. 
Then I am going to have some lunch and then I'm gonna have my second meditation of the day before I get into the actual writing. I did my workout feeling really good about that, especially because my back did not hurt whatsoever. So I think we're in the clear, fingers crossed. I think I'm gonna try and keep doing that workout because it actually was a really good one for like back stabilization and stuff. So I, I think I'm gonna continue doing it on later days. I'm kind of glad that I tried it today so that I found out that I really enjoyed it and that it was beneficial. So I finished my workout, I had some lunch, watched a little bit of Buffy, um, I'm still re-watching, and Buffy is one of Sarah J Maas's favorite TV shows, so I feel like that's pretty on par with uh, the topic of the video. Once I finished that, I did my second meditation of the day, um, and I also just wanted to mention that I am including all of the extra non-writing things that go into her routine because I think that they're actually really big factors uh, in her productivity and she talks about them like they are. When you take care of your mental health and your physical health, that plays a big role in your productivity, uh, in your creativity, that is how you just keep yourself health, healthy in general. Um, and I think that it's really important to include those parts of a writing routine in a writing routine, you know, cause it can't be all writing uh, because that's not balanced whatsoever and you would burn out. Um, so that's why in this video, I am also making sure that I'm including all of the little things that she does to take care of herself because um, I, you know, would argue that that is part of what keeps her at the level of success that she's at. And those are factors that play into the fact that she's able to write and release two books a year. Um, so yeah, so we did our second meditation. I've moved to my desk in my bedroom and we are going to start the writing sprints. Sarah mentions that when she is drafting, uh, she will write out the scenes that she wants to write the next day, um, the night before. So it gives her like a jumping off point when she gets to the manuscript the next day so that she has kind of a structure for the scenes that she wants to cover that day. So that's what she does when she's drafting. Um, I am currently not drafting technically. I do need to finish the draft of Between the Waves, um, but as of right now, I'm just rewriting and I'm struggling a little bit with some plot holes and kind of uh, coming up with some plot points. So when Sarah is having issues with that sort of thing, she will grab a notebook. So she won't do this um, kind of brainstorming method when she's on the computer, she'll do it like handwritten in a notebook, which is great because that's how I love to work through issues anyways. Um, so she will grab a notebook and she'll sit down and write out what was supposed to happen. And then she will write out why it's not working. And then she will basically, I use this term all the time <laughs> when I'm talking about any creative process because this is how I do it. Um, and then she will brain dump any any and every potential idea for what could happen instead that would make the story work uh, and that is something that will be very very helpful considering the position that i'm at right now with between the waves so we're gonna grab a notebook do i have a notebook for that yes i do we're gonna grab a notebook and we are going to sit and maybe set a 15 minute timer or so and i am just gonna write down what's not working and I am going to go to town, come up with some wild ideas on what could happen instead. Um, and I'm just gonna, you know, get, I'm just gonna dump my brain and see what comes. Oh, and 
Uh, while I'm doing this and when I actually get to writing, Sarah is almost always listening to music while she writes. Uh, she prefers movie scores, which is also the kind of music I like to listen to when I write because sometimes I get distracted by music with lyrics. So I am going to play the Gravity soundtrack, which is one of her favorite movie scores. Uh, and I'm gonna play that in the background while I do this writing activity. Okay, so I did some more writing. Um, I did a tiny bit of drafting, but then I spent a whole bunch of time just trying to figure out some plot stuff, which is kind of just the story of my life right now when it comes to doing the Between the Waves rewrite. There's a lot to kind of figure out and kind of move around a little bit. So I actually spent most of my writing time, and I mean literal hours, uh, basically thinking about my story. And I just had to keep telling myself uh, that thinking is not wasting time. Thinking is not less effective than physically writing. Um, thinking is also important. And if I hadn't spent a very long time thinking about how to work through some of these story issues, I wouldn't have come up with the solution that I have now, which is fantastic. I did have to take a walk um, to kind of clear my head a bit and allow myself to kind of get like a fresh mind. But then I did have a little bit of a breakthrough um, and I was able to get my seven plot points down, which there's basically like seven plot points that I um, just try to have in my story because as long as I know those, then I can pants the rest of it. So I managed to get the new ones of those. Um, obviously the climax might change a little bit depending on what happens, uh, things towards the end might shift slightly, but for now the plot points I have actually make a lot of sense to me, um, and I'm excited about the story that they tell, and then I also wrote out eight, uh, scene cards for eight brand new scenes, or I think seven of them are brand new and one's like a rewrite, um, that go into this storyline. So I now have more scenes to add. And then just like Sarah talks about the night before, she'll make note of the scenes that she wants to work on the next day. Um, I have two scenes that I want to work on tomorrow, which is so exciting because it's like actually drafting. Um, and I just love actually drafting. Editing is, is fun too, but I do really like drafting. Um, and I'm excited to finish the draft of this book. So I have some scenes picked out so that I am excited for tomorrow's writing and I know what I'm doing for tomorrow's writing. Now we are going to do further self-care in true Sarah J Moss style. I'm not complaining at all. I love it. So she talks about taking a bath pretty much every single night and she says that she plays Tibetan singing bowl music like on Spotify or whatever, um, which I'm not gonna lie. I listen to that anyways, um, sometimes when I'm meditating or sometimes when I'm trying to go to sleep. Um, so I'm not, I'm certainly not opposed to listening to that. Um, and I don't take nearly enough baths. So I am going to take a bath. <laughs> I love that this is part of her writing routine and she talks about it or part of her like daily routine as an author um, because it means that I get to do it. I got myself a little bath bubble bar, I think is what they're called. They're from Lush. Um, it smells fantastic and it's a little bit glittery and it's got salt in it, which is really good for how I am right now, <laughs> which is recovering basically. So I'm gonna do a nice bath bomb. I might put some like essential oils in there if I'm able to, I think I have some. Um, I'm gonna dim the lights and I'm gonna play some Tibetan singing bowls because that sounds so lovely. Um, and I'm just gonna have like a nice chill meditative bath. I'm super excited for that. I love her writing routine. It's great. <laughs> Right, it is officially the next morning. 
Um, so last night I had my bath, which was fantastic. Um, and then I did my last meditation. Um, and I just figured I'd do a quick little wrap up on the video. I really enjoyed it. I really, really loved the emphasis that she puts on taking care of her mental health and her physical health um, when she talks about her writing routine, which is kind of um, something that I've noticed when I've seen interviews and podcasts and stuff with her. I didn't get that much actual drafting done. However, I'm not upset about this at all because like you guys saw, I got eight brand new scenes ready to go and ready to write, um, two of which I plan on writing today anyways. She does say that if she's not taking like a scheduled break, she tries to write at least a thousand words per day. Um, and I mean, honestly, if I counted all of my handwritten words and all of my like notes for words, it probably would have come to around 1000. I just wasn't drafting a thousand words, but her methods of, you know, sitting down and handwriting everything out to try and work through some plot issues, um, as well as, you know, going for a walk if you're having trouble or listening to movie scores for inspiration. These are all habits that I tend to try to do anyways. Um, and I find that they work really well for me. And especially yesterday when I like forced myself to apply them because I knew that I was doing the video. Um, it kind of held me accountable. And when I did them, I had a breakthrough. So there's definitely something to be said about that. I will say it's a little unfortunate because a lot of us who are working full time, like Sarah works as an author. So this is her day to day life. Um, but a lot of us who are working, you know, part time or full time jobs or multiple jobs to pay the rent, um, it's a lot more difficult to give yourself the time to just sit there and, you know, do all of this writing out, all of this extra stuff, go for walks whenever you possibly can, um, that it's, it's, you know, a little bit more of a time commitment, of course. And like some people aren't going to meditate three times a day. <laughs> um, but it's also, you know, in smaller increments of those habits, you can use that in your daily life, even if you have a job. So I think it's still really beneficial. So yeah, I mean, I came out of that challenge with eight brand new scenes to start writing a new plot outline and a very relaxing self care filled, but still productive day, which is just like, that's really what I'm aiming for every day is being able to incorporate self-care and then also be productive. And yesterday I was, so I would, I guess, call that a success. <laughs> I just thought that it was kind of interesting to try out another author's kind of writing routine and try out some of their habits. Um, and I have like five other authors that I've been looking into to do more of these videos. Um, so again, I'll probably post a poll on my Patreon soon. Uh, soon-ish within the next couple weeks um, for the next one so if you're interested you can head over to my patreon and be part of that I hope that you all enjoyed as always thank you to my wonderful patrons listed right here I love you all very much thank you for supporting me and also thank you to all of you who come and watch my videos and like the video and comment on it and chat with me um, it really means a lot and I hope you enjoyed this one so don't forget to smile and I will see you in the next video bye